y'all. <laughs> so I have been down for the count for the last several days. Three days, something like that. I've lost count. The weekend before Christmas is just not the best time to be down for the count, but um, I didn't have any control over it, so yay for being sick when you really don't need to be. Not that there's ever a good time to be sick, but right now is the worst time to be sick. <laughs> anyway, hopefully in the next few days, I'm going to feel better and be able to get back out helping feed and do all the things that need to be done, like putting a Christmas tree up since Christmas is a week away. Y'all look, I still have pumpkins on my porch. Pumpkins and a Christmas tree because that's awesome. Yeah. And that just kind of sums up how things are going here lately. Not getting done the way they need to get done. Anyway, a couple of days ago I was out and about in the rain and the cold and recorded a short commercial in my truck. I think I'll just show that and hopefully get back on the farm, out on the farm soon. I hope you all are well and stay well now through Christmas and the holidays. And if you're not, well, I feel ya. So, today is a fun day for this farm wife. The weather is not fun. The rain has begun. So the snow is melting. I'm in town right now. The snow is melting. We've got rain, possibly a couple inches of rain coming. Feeding was horrible this morning breaking in my new boots I got new boots so that's awesome my feet are warm and they they look terrible and muddy now but they're working that's all that really matters and so right now I'm getting ready to do something fun I know I've already said that I need to tell you what it is though so every now and then I get opportunities to do things like podcast interviews and today, I'm going to be on XM Radio with my friend Rob Sharkey. Did you know that people farm sharks in Illinois? They do. Um, actually, he farms corn and soybeans. But anyway, he has a radio show on XM called Shark Farmer Radio. See how that goes? And he's going to interview me in a little bit. He is co-owner of the digital magazine Ag Now magazine that I write for every month. So I think we're going to talk about that and I don't really know what else. It's always kind of a crapshoot when I do stuff like this because I never know what's going to come out of my mouth. So it makes me a little nervous. It probably makes him a little nervous. But here we go. But I have to go to town. Usually I'm at the Piggly Wiggly parking lot where I know that my phone won't drop but I came all the way in town I'm actually sitting in the mall parking lot and I even went in this place I never ever go to the mall or Starbucks <sighs> but I had to go get something for a Christmas gift and it's cold and I needed coffee so I treated myself to a six dollar cup of peppermint mocha getting a little wild over here. I will put the link to my radio show. Um, yeah, to my interview. That's what I'm trying to think of. I'll put the link to it in the notes. Assuming that it doesn't go south and I even post this and let you know that I was on it. So anyway, that's what we're doing right now. I don't know what's next shopping more shopping trying to finish up Christmas because I really stink at getting things done on time I did a lot online but I need to finish up a few little things so starting to sweat a little feeling the feeling the crunch anyway that's where we're at that's what's going on catch you later okay so the interview went great I mean I I guess it did Rob said it did, and his wife Emily said it did. 
I always second guess those things because I get done and I'm like, why did I say that? Why didn't I say this? Yada yada. Anyway, it was a lot easier though than trying to survive the shopping center that I just drove around for 20 minutes. So I went in Target, got a present, came out, got in my truck to drive across the way, could find no parking spot, came back to the same parking spot so I can now walk all the way across there in the rain. Procrastination is a horrible, horrible attribute that I own very well. I don't know. It's a mess, y'all. It's just a mess out here. Rainy day blues. Rainy day Christmas shopping blues. That's where we're at. That's, what, that's where we're at. Okay, I survived that. And all for naught, the one thing I was looking for, they didn't have. So, luckily, I know the back way out of this hole. So, I'm going around the back to get out. One more stop, and then I'm headed to the farm. And I'm going to decompress. And I'm going to wrap some dove that my son killed in bacon and cook it and it's going to make everything better because bacon makes everything better and speaking of that I got to show y'all something I just went by my uh this the studio uh, shop of the person that does my screen printing for towels and stuff I have made and I have a new design and it, I just thought about it okay are you ready for this no but about it bacon makes everything better what do you like it I think it's cute whatever I sell these in my shop and um I just have a thing for puns I sold out of these last week, so I had more made. Sweet dreams are made of cheese, because I do cheese making classes sometimes. And, where's the other? Oh yeah, and then also, because I'm not really original when it comes to like things, this is the origin. this is the original towel that had butter makes everything better. And I got some of those done in a turquoise, so. Yep. This vlog is all about shameless plugs for things this farm wife does. She's a poet and she doesn't even know it. Just kidding. All right. I feel like if my kids see this and see the things that I say in 20 years, they're just, they're going to be mortified at how silly I can be. But that's kind of the fun part of parenthood sometimes is embarrassing our children right all right i'm going in into lowe's finish some shopping but i'm heading home and um this commercial is officially over you're welcome bye y'all